Hello and welcome to SB's Academy. Last week, we did the first part of techniques to open a group discussion. This week's video is a continuation of that lesson and we shall conclude it by taking a look at some other important techniques to open a discussion. With this video, we shall close our second series of videos on group discussion and shall come back with the same sometime next year. Till then, keep watching the channel and following the page. Technique number four is to start the group discussion with a short statement. Whenever you put in a short statement, it immediately grabs attention of the audience and put your point on the forefront. Suppose the topic of the GD is the impact of population on the Indian economy. Right? It's a very familiar topic for most of you. It's a very common topic. Now, how to make a common topic sound uncommon by bringing in a particular short statement? Please follow the statement that comes up on the screen. At the center of the Indian capital stands a population clock that ticks away relentlessly. It tracks 33 birds a minute. 2,000 an hour and 48,000 a day, which calculates to about 12 million every year. That is roughly the size of Australia. And as the current political slogan puts it, nothing is impossible when 1 million Indians work together. So you see, when you're bringing in such shocking facts and figures, so it's immediately going to trigger a reaction in the audience and the audience and the recruiters will be all ears for this new twist that you are giving to an otherwise common grab topic about Indian population versus Indian economy. So see this is the kind of an impact that a short statement generates or creates on the group discussion. So unless you are really very skillful at the ace of and and you can ace at bringing out the short statement, I would request you don't go for it. Only if you are very good at bringing forth short statements, you may go ahead. Okay. Point number five or technique number five is facts and figures and statistics. Now this is something I have already pointed out in one of my earlier lessons that is it is not just sufficient that you are familiar with the concept but you also need to be familiar with the facts and figures and statistics. Now take for example like here approximation is allowed in macro figure levels but micro figure levels need to be correct and not accurate. For example you can say approximately 70% of the Indian population stays in rural areas that is macro figures so when approximately approximation is allowed but you cannot say 30 states of India instead of 29 that is micro figures no approximations right another very interesting way which is a personal favorite of mine this is something I often adopt when I'm uh, taking a class, especially a class which is not maybe a topic which is a bit too drab or the class which doesn't seem really very interested or really exhausted to attend the class. In order to rouse their attention, I follow this particular technique. This is technique number six. That is introducing a short story or an anecdote in order to build up attention in the class. That is use a uh, a small anecdote or a small episode from real life, maybe yours, maybe fictitious, maybe of somebody else, to start a GD topic that is attitude is everything, right? This can be, I'm giving you an example, this can be initiated with a child once asked a balloon vendor who was selling helium gas field balloons whether a blue colored balloon will go as high as the sky as a green colored balloon. The balloon vendor told the child it is not the color of the balloon but what is inside that it makes it go high. So you can relate it with the story of human ambition, 
attitude, right? How to look at life, one's perception of life. So if you bring in these short anecdotes of your life or somebody else's life, you know, the class automatically gets very illustrative and interesting. So you can try this out. I believe this is a very, very interesting, but make sure the anecdote should not be too long. It should be really very, very brief and to the point and must have proper direct relevance to the topic. This is something that you must keep in mind. Okay. Lastly, general statement. This is the most common, rather most uninteresting way of initiating a GT and rather the safest way in case you do not want to experiment much. So what happens is, if the topic is, should X be the head of the state of a country Y? You can start by saying, before jumping into conclusions like, Yes, X should be or X should not be. Let us find out the qualities one needs to be to be a proper head of the state. Then we can compare whether these qualities are there in the candidate we are talking about. So this will help you to reach the conclusion in a logical manner. So that is all for this lesson. I have given you with ample illustrations to make the entire lesson clear as how you can proceed, as how you can proceed with the topic, how you can proceed with the initiating statements of group discussion, the opening, the techniques, how to open the group discussion, the best techniques to open a group discussion. Hope the lesson is clear to you all. So wish you all a very happy learning. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to SB's Academy channel on YouTube for more such content. Follow SB's Academy's page on Facebook for SB's tips on grammar, vocabulary and communication skills in English. Don't forget to like and share the content. Leave your views in the comments and let us know what else would you like us to cover here. Happy learning!